Well, this is the result of chemtrail haze. These are chemical contrails. I don't know if you can see those horizontal lines, but what it results and produces is a sky that's all whited out. There's not one cloud in the sky, but it's all whited out. The entire sky is whited out. And this is, I mean, you can kind of see down by the horizon. I don't know if you can see it, but the horizontal chemical contrail lines and striations the whole entire sky north south east and west is all whited out okay now they might want to try to call this an overcast day but this is a man-made overcast day and this is what this stuff it blocks out the sun the sun has no chance to shine through any of this and it's just terrible this is what the chemical contrails are doing. They're geoengineering the skies so that we don't have blue skies during the day and we don't have black skies during the night. Now last night I must say that the chemical contrails were so thick that it actually reached ground level and you could sm it smelled like burned rubber whatever they were spraying last night. It might smell like that all the time, but it actually came down to ground level and I couldn't stand outside. It was about two in the morning, you know, and uh, it was just awful. It smelled like some type of burned rubber all over. And this is terrible. This is what we face in New York State, our terrible, whited out skies and there's not a cloud in the sky okay it's all the product of what you can see down there on the horizon those chemical contrails horizontal striated lines that's what's spread out into this shit okay it spreads out into this I mean it, right above it there it's all striated I don't know if you can see it but it spreads out into this damn haze. And people are so stupid. They're so stupid. They're, they're just watching the Kardashians and CNN fake news or Curiosity Stream with all the bullshit they're airing on that channel. And when they're all tired of all that and they want to change, they go to the History Channel and watch Ancient Aliens, which makes me sick because I like, I like watching American Pickers and stuff pawn stars sometimes and they got that garbage ancient alien garbage on and then the new one with uh what's his name from star trek you know played kirk the old guy what the heck is his name it evades me but he's doing a show about you know aliens and and unex the unexplained all nonsense you know he's just looking for a paycheck they got him on video saying space is fake and all theoretical and nonsense. Same as science fiction. It's the same. It's just awful. And people want to say the Earth's a globe because of Aristoteles. I can't even pronounce his name. Aristoteles. Uh, 3,000 or so years ago, uh, Egyptian that planted a stick in the ground and had someone else a few thousand miles away do it. I don't know how they communicated or planned to do this. It must have took time as there was no telegraph or any communication. They might have flown a dove, who knows, a homing pigeon. It's all nonsense to measure the shadow. You know, and you got some guy on Facebook, Lark, Lark, Larkin, Larson guy, saying that that's proof of the globe no it's not okay because first of all we don't believe that the sun is 93 million miles away all right i don't know how far away it is but it's not that far away i i wouldn't even think it was more than myself personally it's within a thousand miles away it's certainly not as big as they teach us no way but the bottom line is light does not move in a straight line 
Maybe in a vacuum it does, but you know that Aristosthenes he didn't know about uh, refraction, that sunlight moving through our atmosphere, which our atmosphere is thicker, more dense towards the ground. So there's a a, a density gradient with our atmosphere. You see, in light. It is a demonstrated fact that light does bend. Like if you put a pencil in water and you look at the pencil, water, you know, it, pro it produces an illusion. It, it, it reflects the uh, pencil off center of, the, of where the pencil really is. Or like if you're looking at a fish through water and you're trying to spear it, the fish might be a whole six inches away from where you see it underwater. But our atmosphere is like that. Our atmosphere is, f even the liars of scientism acknowledge that there are millions of gallons of water in our atmosphere. And atmospheric lensing, it's like a concave lens. So that light from the sun travels to the earth. It's, it's not always in a straight line. So that, that guy, the Egyptian nutcase that they probably made up, no such person probably ever existed. They faked some parchment or a hieroglyph you know, they do that and they claim, oh, this guy did this experiment. Yeah, okay. I could imagine if I was alive 3,000 years ago and I wrote down an experiment in rock. And eh, 3,000 years later, they'd never find that. Or if I wrote it down, come on, that's ridiculous. But that, you know, and, and then the, the way they want to define level is ridiculous. Perpendicular to the earth's. The center of the earth uh, that's ridiculous that's not level uh, straight lines there you can't have anything curved can never add up to level okay gravity has never been directly detected itself electricity and magnetism are far 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 less important and have far less responsibility and they could be directly detected themselves through volt, current, and field. But gravity, which is far, far more important and has far more responsibility, has never been directly detected on the Earth. That's why LIGO came, came up with gravitational waves from an incident they alleged a billion years ago, two black holes colliding, to, to produce one super black hole and gravitational waves. Uh, rippled the uh, alleged curvature of space-time and we detected that on the earth You know So they're so uh, they're like a Mack truck drives by that doesn't mess up their seismometer or whatever the hell they're trying to use to detect Ripples in, in space-time From an incident occurring over a billion years ago. It's still rippling. That's so stupid. It's ridiculous. Okay, my time's running out. This is what we get.